Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video today. I am doing six by 12 pocket pages here and these are photos from my trip to Chicago. And as you can see, I went to Hamilton. So if you've seen Hamilton, you're gonna recognize some stuff that's on here. So I have on the left side pretty much everything picked out and set up the way that I want it. I did take one photo and cut it in half so that I could use it in two pockets. And the left side is actually all three by three pockets. And one of the last videos I did was the other side of this. I said it then, I'll say it again. Three by three, not my favorite. <laughs> but since I had it, I wanted to use it. So I did figure out a way that I could use it with the photos that I had, but I had to get creative and do things like this to make that happen. So I did pick out this card that I want to do my journaling on. This is from Allie Edwards. She had a travel release earlier this year and that was one of the cards. So it came as three by four and I cut it down to three by three. And then this was another three by four card from a digital set I bought and I cut this down as well. And then these I did in the Project Life app, both of them. So I just picked backgrounds from kits I already had and made it work for what I was doing. So this one, I just really needed something that was blue to match their outfits. And this pattern wasn't too distracting, but it added some nice visual interest. So I went with that one. And then on this one, again, I wanted something blue, but I just got lucky that it was an old style quill pen. And I thought, well, given the time period, that's perfect. And then I just added in the quote, I am not throwing away my shot. So that was pretty easy to get most of that stuff done. The right hand side would be a little bit more of a challenge. I have more work to do over here. I want to add something to this card. I like it. I like it that it's got some red and I was trying to work that in because of King George's outfit, but it feels plain to me. So I think I need something else up here or maybe down here just to liven it up a little bit. So I need that. Then I have this picture of the stage and I've got a lot of dead space here. So I could definitely do something there. I just don't know what. I need a background card for my ticket. So I need to find something that will match. And then same problem here is with the other card. I like the way it looks in general, but it needs something. It's too blank up here. It needs a little something to spice it up a bit. I should also mention that in between these, I'm going to put the playbill from the show. So I think I'm gonna keep it just like this, whoops, in a six by 12 page protector. Um, because then it's easy in, easy out. <laughs> if somebody wants to take this out and look at it. The problem is, is that I also have this photo, which I really wanna use cause I love this, but they're very similar, you know, cause it looks just like the playbill. So I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use it. If I do, then I will have to put some cardstock in there because this has to stick to something. I'm not gonna put it on the back of here, obviously. So I'm torn about that, but I think I will probably just leave this alone by itself unless something really spectacular comes to me to add in that other photo. So the first thing I've decided to do is jazz up this card a little bit. I went into my scraps and I found a little bit of paper here that matches the colors that I've got going and so I cut it down so that it would be four inches across or three inches across sorry and then I can add it in right here and I think that gives a nice bit of color and it will grab the eye when it's in the pocket. So for this card I've pulled out two types of washi because I thought maybe I could just add a little strip there and that would liven it up a little bit. I have two widths and two different shades. So this one is obviously very narrow. It's a little bit closer to what King George is wearing there. And then I have this one, which is wider. It also has a cool pattern on it, but the color's not the same. It's much more muted. It's not as vibrant as this one for sure. So I have to decide which I like better. So let's see. You know what, even just looking at that, I like the narrower one better. The color looks good and then it's a nice contrast because this gold is so thick and then this would be thinner. So I'm gonna add this one. 
All right, so I added that and I chose to overlap it just a bit over the gold and I like that. It gives it, it's almost as if that's a different shade because of the gold that's behind it. So I like that. I still think it needs something else, but at least now it's got some color, so that's good. Now, after I did that, I thought, oh, I might as well look for something in the background here and I did find something. I want to use this card. I hope it's not too busy. <laughs> I have to hold it up and see because I love that it's, kind of a diagonal stripe. Let's see, do I like it? I think it's okay because I've got some black here. This is a darker background. It is a bold stripe, but it's gonna be separated and it'll have something in the middle. So I don't think it's too crazy. I'm gonna keep it. To get the tickets to fit on here, I have to get a little creative. So I think what I'm going to do is this whole piece is not going to fit. So I think I'm going to cut off the part that says Broadway in Chicago and then just kind of use it at the bottom. And then either I'll tilt this or maybe it'll end up being straight on like that. I'm not sure. But I just, I can't use all of both pieces because they won't fit. Here is the card after I've attached everything. I wanted to leave some space up here in case I want to add something, just an embellishment or something after. So the other thing is that I was looking at this dead space up here and I think I'm gonna try something. I'm going to take my Brilliance Moonlight White ink and I'm going to stamp in that space. It should show up well because that's so dark and this is white. And then I have pulled out my stamps that are all related to entertainment. So whether that's movies, plays, music, whatever, I have a whole set <laughs> of stamps ready to go. So I'm gonna go through there, see what I can find that would be appropriate for this, and then I will stamp. I've picked out the stamps that I want to use. And this is a set from Kelly Perky. It's called Playlist. It's from 2016, so it's older now. I'm not sure if you can find it anywhere, but maybe. I want to use the, one, the stamps that say Soundtrack and then For My Life Right Now. That's so true about the music from Hamilton. My daughter was into it first. She got me into it, and I absolutely love it. So I think that would be appropriate to put there, and there's enough room. So I'm going to try Soundtrack first. If it comes out well great, then I'll go on to the other one. If it doesn't come out well for any reason, then I only have to cover up one thing instead of two. So I'm going to start there and just see what happens. Ta-da! Look at that. I did move it a tad when I stamped on the right hand side, but it is not enough to make me redo it. You can still see what it says. It's fairly crisp. I love how this turned out. Oh my God, I'm so excited by that. Small things make me happy, people. So that's gonna go right there. And what else do I need to do here? I think it's ready for just some embellishment type stuff. Now, I was thinking though still about this problem. Look what's on the back. They're a cute family and everything, but I don't think when I'm flipping through this album or when I have somebody else looking at it that I want to just see this through the clear page protector. So now I've decided I am going to put it on paper. So I need to go into my stash and find out what I can do. Hopefully I have something, a piece of paper that's two-sided that I can find that will work for both. And if you've watched previous videos of mine, you know that I, not too long ago, decided to cut down all my paper to 6x12 because now I do six by eight or six by 12 pretty much exclusively unless I'm doing a project for somebody else. So it's easier for me to just cut and store my paper that way. So I'm hoping that I have something that's dual sided that I can just put in there. If not, I'll make it work. I'll find something else, but that's the dream. Well, I did not find something that was two sided. <laughs> I did find something, but it's not two sided. What I found was this. It matches so well with this, but look at the other side. <laughs> that does not go at all, but luckily I had two pieces, so it must have been a 12 by 12 that I cut down. I don't remember. Where did I get this? Does it say anything? That makes me think it's maybe like a close to my heart or a Stampin' Up something because there's no, no brand on it or anything. But anyway, I have these, so I think what I'm going to do is glue them together back to back and then this can just drop in I'm not gonna adhere it to the paper but it can just drop in and you'll see it like this I could do something up here if I wanted to but I don't have to 
and then for the other side, the photo will go on it. Now it's too much not to have this matted to just put it on there. So I'll have to find a mat, preferably maybe just gold or black, but then I can have fun with the rest of the page. So I found this paper in my stash. It's from a six by six paper pad, I believe. And it's got kind of old fashioned writing on it, which I think works well with the Hamilton theme. Obviously though, if I use this, I'm gonna have to cut it down just a tad, which is fine. I'll probably cut off from the top just so that it will fit in here. And then I will mat it like so. And then I can still work in the gold color in another way. All right. I cut it down, I have the mat on there, and I adhered it. I think I'm gonna add some red, so I'm gonna use the same wash I, I used down here, just to bring that in because it will be facing this page. So I'll probably just overlap it a little bit, maybe up here to bring that in, and then I have no idea <laughs> what I'm gonna do down here, but I'll find something. So I pulled out just my stash of random kind of ephemera pieces so this may it's also that it has words on it this is stuff that generally does not so I pulled out two things already that I want to use I found this little piece here that happens to be red that I can put right at the bottom which will be awesome and then look at this I found this little speech bubble thing and it has lines or stripes if you will so I think I'm going to position it like something like that so I will have to cut off the top edge but I think when you look at it you'll still understand what it's supposed to be and I love it because then I have a quote there of someone speaking so I think that'll be fun so I'm gonna start with those and see what else I can find well I didn't find anything in there that I thought would go other than what I already had so I went into my stash of just different words and started looking and I did find some things I found this one that says happy and it matches with the gold. I have this piece of acrylic that says fave. It's red, which matches. I have this one that says live it up. I'm not sure if that is quite what I want, but I pulled it because I like it. And then I have this little wood veneer piece, very, very thin that says you are amazing, which is definitely true. So I think I'm gonna mess around with those, see how I can pull them together on this side and then I might be done. I have finished this part, yay. So I added the wood veneer up there. I put these on. I decided to not use the one that said live it up, but I found this one instead. The only problem I had here is if you look real closely, you can see this ripped a little bit when I took it off its backing. So I don't remember what brand these are, but I have to be very careful with any of those that I have left because they tear very easily. But at least now this is done. So I just have to decide, do I want embellishments? And I think I do because look what I have in my stash. Oh, shiny gold stars, which is perfect for Hamilton. So I'm gonna sprinkle these around wherever I like them and then I'll be done. Okay, it's done. So I'm gonna show you page by page. So here's close up of the left hand side. You can see where I added in the stars there. Here's the middle, which has the program, playbill. Here's the other side, so I added in stars here as well. And then the finished right side. Love that speech bubble. Little star there. Ended up not adding anything to that card. And the last star. I have to say this is one of my favorite layouts that I've done in a long, long time. I absolutely love this. And I know part of that has to do with my love for Hamilton, but I feel fantastic about it. So I'm so excited to put this in my album. Thanks for watching, everyone.